Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you a realistic morning routine with me here in Egypt as a stay at home mom and wife. So, first things first, pray Fajr. And then usually my son wakes up about this time and is hungry. So I go ahead and breastfeed him and get him back to bed. So once my son goes um, back to bed, I start my skincare routine um, and hygiene routine. I go ahead and wash my hands because you don't want to do your skincare with dirty hands. I wet my face, use some cotton rounds and my acne advance clearing foam by eminence organics i love 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 that stuff um, if you're subscribed to my instagram channel then you already know about my skincare routine then i go ahead and brush my teeth look at my face just one more time and um, dry it off so um midway through drying my face off i realized that that was my husband's towel and <laughs> I was totally, totally kind of um, perplexed, but I had to keep it together because I had to record. So after that, I go ahead and get to my serums. Um, I do a vitamin C serum, and then I also put on some SPF. Um, the sunscreen that I use is, I believe it's called Black Girl Sunscreen, and it doesn't have that white overcast on my skin which is why i like it so much so also i got it from target so if you're looking for it um in the states that's where i got it from so what i like to do with my sunscreen i like to dab it over my face just to kind of get it evenly distributed and i had kind of took out a little bit too much of sunscreen so i went ahead and just rubbed it on my hands um i like to um just rub it all over take my time because this is probably the one and only time throughout the day where i will be able to cater to myself in this manner because the baby and then my husband and then also cooking and then also have class just a whole bunch of things that i have to do throughout the day so i take advantage of the morning um time i have especially when it comes to my skincare Look at that glow, mashallah, tabarakallah, barakallah hufiq. <laughs> so next thing I'm going to do is pick out my outfit for today. Yes, I know I do have on a jilbab, but clearly that's not what I wear throughout the day. I'm only wearing the jilbab in the video for content purposes. So after that, I go ahead and choose a scent to wear. Um, the perfumes that I recently got are from Latafa. And that's a company out of the Emirates. Well, that's where um, it was shipped from. I bought it off the of Amazon here in Egypt. Now, the Amazon here in Egypt is a bit different than the Amazon in the States. So you might not be able to find it there, but I will link the website for the perfumes in the description. Yes, I think I'm gonna go with this one. And then I'm gonna add some of the um, oils my husband had recently bought for me um, from Medina Tea. It smells so good, mashallah. Okay, and then after that, I'll just go ahead and do the laundry. Um, on this particular day, my son's clothes were washed. So I'm just reorganizing his area in our closet so that, you know, I'm not putting clean clothes on top of messy clean clothes. It can all be organized and look nice. So um, what usually happens is um, my nanny, she also does a bit of housekeeping. And so I will put the clothes in the washer and then either I or she will take them out the washer and hang them to dry. They don't really have dryers here in Egypt. So um, we hang most of our clothes to dry. That's not really something I'm not used to. When I lived in Africa, we did the same thing. When I visited Africa, we did the same thing. Um, so, yeah. So I'm just putting his clothes together, um, folding the white tops, um, 
onesies, I should say, and putting them all together. Um, and then I put the colored and patterned and graphic um, onesies in another pile. Okay, so once I'm done with the clothes, I put them together and then I go ahead and organize the socks. Of course, there was one sock that I couldn't find a match for, which always happens. That always happens. And baby woke up, so I started to restock his diapers and wipes with him in my hand. Now it's time to change him and get him dressed to spend some time with his nanny. So as I'm changing him, I'm playing with him, laughing, giggling, smiling, because I want him to have a positive experience in the morning so that he can get used to being a happy baby. He's already a happy baby, but I just want to make sure that stays like that. And of course, while I'm changing him, he goes ahead and pees. <laughs> he does this almost all the time. Sometimes I catch it, sometimes I don't. The times that I don't, I'm just like, dang. But he laughs and giggles about it, and he just thinks it's the funniest thing in the world to see me stressed out about him peeing on the bed. So I go ahead and change him, and I add powder um, to his bum because um, it's not super, super hot right now, but it still can get hot, um, and I don't want him to sweat and get uncomfortable and get a diaper rash, so that's why I do that. And you're about to see my back give out in three, two, one. Yeah. So I go ahead and put his jumper on. Um, he has mitts on his hands as well because he's in a stage where he just wants to eat the heck out of his hands. And I'm just like, no, not at all. So I go ahead and put him in his stroller that I also put his lounger in um, so that he can be comfortable. Sometimes strollers have like really hard um floor so that's why I didn't want to just put him in there so now that he's ready I go ahead and roll him down the hall to his nanny so now we're off uh, this is also about the same time that my husband goes to class um, Arabic class in Nasser City so he's on the way out um, and little kiss for the baby kiss for mommy and he is on his way to class after that, um, I'll just go ahead and scoot him down to his nanny's room. Um, I almost forgot his bag. I'll go ahead and knock, um, give her some time to, you know, make herself decent. Um, and then I'll just push my little baby in there. So I was so nervous to have a nanny at first. I'm not even going to lie, but I really love, you know, her work ethic and she's really great with him. So next, I make myself some tea. I am super, super addicted to Lipton now. I don't know what they got in Lipton, um, but it should be classified as a narcotic of some sort because there's no reason why I am addicted to Lipton tea. But anyways, <laughs> so yeah, I just go ahead and do that. Um, make me something to drink, something hot. Um, sometimes I'll eat it with bread and butter um, with some scrambled eggs on the side but today I really wasn't in the mood to make anything this morning and I usually make my tea with creamer and about two and a half um scoops of brown sugar just in case you guys were wondering <laughs> after I make my tea I go downstairs with the clothes out of the washer and I hang them to dry and then I take whatever clothes that are dried back upstairs with me to be folded. Um, so sometimes it's my nanny's clothes that are there. So I'll even take her clothes upstairs. She likes to fold them herself. Next, I go ahead and prep um, my baby's bottles. Um, I just shake them up and put them upside down so the soap can soak into the nipple. Then I'll take the sanitized bottles out of... Um, the bottle sanitizer and I put them in this drying rack that I got so once I'm done with all that stuff I go into the office um, with my tea my headphones my iPad and my pencils um, I have like a little setup here but it's not as nice of a setup as I would want but you know everything comes with time we just moved here less than a month ago so I'm not expecting everything to be perfect, but um, 
it's, you know, everything's going good so far. Um, I'm plugging in my computer and turning it on. It's actually my husband's computer, but he let me, <laughs> he let me use it because he has his laptop that he works on. Um, so this is what I use for school. I have my book, my notes, and I'm ready to get started. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want me to do a nighttime routine, like what I do after class is over, prepping me and my baby for bed and things of that nature, go ahead and comment and let me know what you would like to see in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Share with your friends and leave me hearts and comments, anything you would like. But let's keep the comment section positive. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.